Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can make an API for save the data and these are some important points that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will make a table in the database so that we can save the data inside the same table we have to make the controller, model and router after that we will write some code to make an API and save the data and we will test that API and at the last I will authenticate the API uh, with the passport package and I already made the video on the uh, API authentication with the passport link is given in the description box and uh, if you don't know how to authenticate the API then you must have to watch our previous video also link is given in the description box as I told right so now let's start with the code so first of all let's check my MySQL and check the table so let's go on the MySQL and here you can see that my database name table and whenever I'm just going to open my uh, product table here you can see that there is some entries so let's uh, delete some entries so that we can make some uh, another entries so let's say there is only two entry for now and I will make some more entries here okay so we will do it with an API okay so now let's go for the next further step so let's make a controller model and router so I'm just going to open my command prompt here and let's make a model first of all for that I'm just going to PHP artisan make and controller and I'm going to make this uh, controller inside the API folder so that I'm just going to write here like this and after that write my products model name and just hit the enter and you can see this table now inside the controller and API folder okay so now you can see this one here and after that let's make some let's make a router for it for that let's go inside the routes folder and just click on the api.php because we are making the API so we don't have to put the router inside web.php let's make directly inside the api.php and here you can simply make a router let's copy the previous one and make one make so product this is my route name and let's put her uh, controller name and function name is save okay and the next step is model let's make a model now so for that just write here php artisan make here my table name is product so that uh, I must have to make my controller name to the product model name as in product okay so just write here make model product and just simply hit the enter and this is also created and it will be created inside the http uh, app folder directly you can see that here okay so these steps are done now now let's make some write some code for make the api and save it inside the database so first of all just uh, go inside the controller click on it and import the model so I'm just going to import the model app and product okay and now let's make a function public function save and to save it just simply write here uh, some code here so for now let's test routes is working fine or not okay just write here return this and just write here all mm, maybe there is some issue let me check ah okay general just I think something missed here so just write here again return product all and let's check for now so for that I'm just going to open the postman new one okay so just write here product and this is the post API so I'm just going to select here post and hit the enter then now you can see that we got the data that means everything is working fine 
accept now let's uh, write some more code here so we have to accept the request from the postman so just write here dollar r e q and this is the request type of class and uh, now just take a variable with the product and this product have the instance of new product fine and in the product we have some uh, columns like name or two more columns should be there which is the category and price these both are created and updated both by default by the laravel and this is the auto increment so we just need to take three parameters here then simply just put here dollar request and name all right and just make two copy of it one for category and same thing we will receive from the postman and uh, price and same thing we will receive from the postman and just write here echo dollar product and this will be the save and it should be returned one when i'm just going to provide the data from here now just click on the body and row data and json and you can simply write here like name name can be like uh, uh, del del a03 model okay a03 that's fine and second name second thing is category and category should be laptop and let's last thing is price and price can be like uh, some Two five zero 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 bucks, and we don't need to put the semicolon at the last. And let's hit the enter. Now uh, there is some issue. Let me check. Uh, maybe some. Okay, there is category. I think misspell here. And just try once again. Now you can see that we got the one result. And this should be entered inside the database now. Let's check here. Now you can see that third entry is here. Del AOC. Okay. So let's. This is also done now. Now let's make it authenticate. For authenticates, let's go on the API.php and just simply take it from here and paste it inside the authorized URL. Now let's try to access it and it will be give you the unauthorized access error. Now you can see that. Then how we can authorize it? As we make the last uh, in last video, token things are here. So I'm just going to hit it again and generating the new token and get this token from here from the save API and paste inside the header like authentication bearer and put the token here. Now you can see that we got the result one here. So let's make some new things like Samsung and Samsung has mobiles and price is like one something bucks and there is also one. Now let's try. Now you can see that Samsung AOC, this entry is also done here. So if you just want to make it from one to something other for something meaningful, then you can just uh, come here and let's check here if this is true then give some nice result like return an array and here you can put like result is a product has been saved okay and let's see now now you can see that 
this is looking nice here as a result and here you can see that the new entry so thanks for watching this video and in the next video we will uh, see that how we can update uh, and product and uh, make an api for update a product with the put condition and same thing we will apply the uh, authentication after that we will make api for search and delete and many things so don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video bye bye